right, let's look at a couple of other ones. We have our line segment tool, which is right here. If I click on the line segment tool and click and drag, then I just get a line segment, just exactly what it sounds like. The only real trick with this is if I hold down the shift key, I can lock that line segment to multiples of 45 degree angles. So if I want it exactly 45 degrees, just hold down shift while I'm making it. Under the line segment tool, I have a tool called the arc tool. The arc tool is also very straightforward. It's like the line tool, but instead of making a straight line, it makes an arc. Now, another tool that we will be using quite a bit is the brush tool. The brush tool is right here under the arc tool. Its keyboard shortcut is B. Now, the brush tool acts just like a normal paintbrush. If I just click and drag on it, then it just makes a line just exactly the way that I dragged. But there are a couple of things that make the brush tool more interesting than that. And that is that I can change what brush I am using. So right over here, I have my brushes panel. And here you can see I've got some basic shapes and I've got some brushes. So let's say I want to use this charcoal brush and use a shape more like that. You can see that now it looks as if it was drawn with charcoal. Okay, now again, I'm still just making points and lines. If I select it and zoom in, you'll see all the points along there, but it's giving it an effect as if it was done by charcoal. Now you have many, many brush libraries available to you. If I come in here and I click on the lower left of the brushes panel, these are my brush libraries. I've got arrows, artistic, borders, bristle brushes. So let's say that I want to go with artistic and inks. And it opens up a new panel there and these are my ink brushes. And I can say, okay, let's do this one right here. And you see that, that changed the line that I had selected to be done with that brush. And if I were to go and select the brush tool again, then it's going to now be using that particular ink brush. Now a whole bunch of brushes came with Illustrator, but know that that's not by any means the amount of brushes you can get. There are thousands and thousands of custom brushes available on the internet. Uh, some from Adobe themselves, some just from third party people. If you get a brush that you want, you just download it to your computer and then go over to brushes and you would just come here and say new brush and add it into it. So, or if you have a whole library of brushes, you go here and say other library and browse to that library. So brushes can be simple, brushes can be complicated, borders, flowers, things like that, but those are the brushes. One more thing to know about brushes and that is how to increase the brush size. Right up here in the control panel, you can see my brush size. This is a five point round. So if I draw like that, if I just come up and click up there, I can change that to other brushes that I want to work with, like so. So those are the brushes. Now, another tool that I want to look at, and this will be the last tool that we'll be looking at in this video, is the pencil tool. The pencil tool is just to the right of the brush tool. Now, at first glance, it seems to do the same thing that the brush tool does. If I draw with it, it just creates a line. But the pencil tool has a really cool little trick. If I draw a line, and then I go and I just kind of get anywhere near where I finish that line, and just continue on, it connects those two lines together. So this allows me to sketch in real time not having to do one fluid line, but just do a little bit at a time. And let's say I'm like, oh shoot, I actually up here wanted to go higher. I can come back up there and pull it up and you see it erased everything below and continued on. Now, if I wanted to leave this the way it was and draw something else near it without adding it to it, I would just need to deselect this. So I could do that by you going to the selection tool and clicking away from it, or I can go to select and say deselect. And now it's not selected anymore and I can draw near it without connecting the two. So that is the pencil tool. And those are some of the basic tools that we'll be using. The, um, the next video we're going to be talking about the pen tool. 
the pen tool uh, is is complicated enough and powerful enough that it deserves its own video. So we're going to be uh, doing that entire tool in one video of its own. Uh, but these tools that we've gone over today, when combined and with uh, using some of the techniques that we're going to go over in later videos, you'll see uh, can can be very very powerful in creating the illustrations that you'd like.